Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to show you how we create and run HTML5 ads on Google. Okay, and what if you don't know what HTML5 ads are, they're basically they're the animated banner ads. So if you've ever been on a website and you've seen um, a banner ad that had any type of video, a slideshow presentation, um, if it had words pop in and out at you, this is what they were using. They were using an HTML5 ad. So, before we create one, I want to show you what they look like in the wild. So, Quicken's Loans, this is what they're using. They're utilizing an HTML5 ad before it just left. All right, let's see if we got anyone else. Tim Bird, he's using an HTML5 ad. It's one of the uh, biggest names in marketing when it comes to Facebook ads. And let's see if we can got anybody else down here. Doesn't look like it, okay? You see how these are just static? They're boring right so let's see why are HTML5 ads more powerful number one is they increase your click-through rate okay which is going to decrease your cost per click it's going to save you money they look great on mobile and desktop as well they're dynamically updated so they will automatically switch out um, to suit whatever audience you're advertising to banner blindness is a real thing um, this will eliminate that it will just pop out the page and grab their attention and these are utilized as you can see what we just looked at, they're utilized by the top brands. Okay, let's get to creating some HTML5 ads. What you're going to want to do is either Google, Google Web Designer, or it's webdesigner.withgoogle.com. Okay, you click the button that says download. It'll literally download. You don't have to give it any information, and then you install it to your computer. I'm talking it takes 30 seconds top. Okay, then you're going to have something that looks like this. This is gonna be the first thing that pops up when you open up Google Web Designer. Okay, you've got a couple options here. You can open up your recent. Um, I made a couple little examples for this tutorial. Um, we're not gonna mess with that though. We have creating a new file or use a template. They have pre-built ad templates in here, which is really good if you're not familiar with the platform to kind of play around and uh, hone in on your craft or you can have uh, your developer do that. For this tutorial, we're just gonna click new file, okay? We're gonna stick with 300 by 250. All right, our environment is gonna be Google Ads. Uh, let's just name it uh, YouTube video. And we're not gonna mess with the responsive layout or anything like that yet. And okay. So this is what we're looking like. We got a blank canvas here. Let me move my face over uh, this is where you're going to align um, this is where your content um, we're going to be able to adjust your contents here and you'll have your track layers here okay it's very important that you use uh, png images okay they have to be layered and make sure here's a pro tip that uh, they're three times scale okay and if you're not a graphics uh, designer guy uh, basically what that means is when you create your graphics, you're gonna to wanna to make them three times bigger. So when you shrink them down to the size, to scale, they will look good and crisp. All right, so first things, let's go ahead and upload our files that we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and I've just created a couple ugly looking things that are gonna be good for a tutorial, but they're definitely not gonna win out of the year by any means whatsoever. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to up, uh, upload my background. Or that's not the background. That's the uh, the click now. Whoops. White background right here. Now I'm going to. This is white, but normally, um, you know, this would be a, a a a pretty background. So we're going to go over here to properties to resize it back down to where we need it to be. Right now we have it blown up three times what we should have. So I'm going to knock this down to 300 and since they're linked they're gonna go in concordance okay so all we have to do now is align these together so I'm gonna align them line left and then align vertical and we are good to go all right we're gonna head back into our library and we are going to get the rest of our stuff so I'm gonna grab my beautiful little face. I'm gonna head back over here to properties. 
we're gonna make sure that they are linked and we're gonna knock this down to 200 and we are gonna put it right in there back over here to library I'm gonna go Facebook's ads converting back over to properties and 70 divided into three let me get my calculator out uh, it's gonna give us 290 I think that's gonna be too big no that's perfect huh all right and our last one here which is going to be our click now we're gonna head over to our properties we're gonna knock that down to uh, 233 and there we go so basically this is our ad now we need to start on our animation all right so I'm gonna hop on down here we're gonna get our tracks going and this is where we set up our animations okay first thing I want to do is I want to lock uh, my background so my background does not move I don't want my background to animate all right so I'm gonna I can't remember what the file name was so this is it we're gonna lock it okay now <clears throat> let's say I want my Facebook ads converting I want it to pop that's what I want to grab the attention so I'm gonna have my Facebook ads converting it's gonna pop out okay all I need to do is come over and right click insert keyframe all right I'm gonna go back to zero on my uh, timeline I'm gonna head over to my rotation and scale over to the x-axis and I'm gonna hit zero okay and then over here to the one I'm going to put it back to one all right now when we let's watch the animation see how Facebook's ads converting that's the animation for that all right so but that's a little bit boring so I want it to come back pop out like on off the, the banner ad almost and then suck back in okay so what I'll do is I'll just add a keyframe over here in the half second all right and then I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger than what it normally is so to, let's just go 1.2 see how it like it's over the banner and let's see what that looks like boom see how it kind of grabs out and grabs your attention okay now next I'm going to take my uh, face and we're gonna rock it back and forth and we're gonna do this through the z-axis okay so insert keyframe I'm gonna go second and a half insert keyframe two seconds keyframe okay so here we're gonna go negative five see how it's cocked back and then here we're going positive five and then here we're gonna go negative five again all right so let's get our replay on and let's check it out that's pretty cool you know for an ugly ad okay and then the last thing I want to do is I'm gonna take my click here button and I'm gonna move it up and down okay so we're gonna click here we're gonna insert a keyframe here and then we're gonna do one at two and a half seconds so here we're gonna be one at two and a half seconds we're gonna move our y-axis okay and we're going to go negative let's go all the way up here and then at insert a keyframe here and we'll go all the way back to one okay let's see what that looks like then it rocks and now click now that's our ad all right guys that's our tutorial uh, for today this is part one we have part two coming up it'll be on the card somewhere um, where we're gonna go a little bit more in depth with design and then how we export um, our, our files, turn them into zips, and then upload them into our actual campaigns. I hope you guys liked it. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe <laughs> to the channel. Uh, I hope this was uh, beneficial. I just, what I really wanted to show you guys is how easy 
these are to make. Um, not a lot of people are doing them. Only the real big, big guys, uh, top brands. There's no reason why you can't do them. Um, best of luck to you.